mga mommies and kids, welcome to my channel. This is Mel. Um, kung bago ka sa channel ko, please consider subscribing. So, today, nandito na tayo sa quarter 2 ng ating mga modules para sa ating distance learning. And for uh, mathematics para sa mga grade 5 students for week 1, ang title ng ating pag-aaralan ngayon ay Place Value and the Value of a Given Decimal Number Through 10,000. So, study the given table below. So, para sa ating example, meron tayo ditong 0 0.2345. So, um, from the decimal point, ang mga numbers sa kaliwa ay ang ating whole numbers at ang mga numbers na nasa kanan ng ating decimal numbers. So, kung napag-aralan yun na ang whole numbers, binabase natin ang place value from right to left. So, first digit um, from uh, right to left would be ones, second digit would be tens, Third digit would be hundreds, fourth digit would be thousands, and the fifth digit would be ten thousands. Now, the decimal numbers naman ay binabasa natin siya from left to right. So, from left to right, ang first digit natin ay tens, second digits ay hundreds, third digit ay thousands, at ang fourth digit ay ten thousands. So, um, as you can notice, dito sa ating decimal numbers, wala siyang ones. Start agad siya sa tens, and then hundreds, thousands, and then ten thousands. At saka ang kaibahan niya pag in-spell out nyo ay may th. Okay? So, for this example, 0 0.2345. So, ang place value ng 2, since um, siya ang number or first digit right after the decimal point, ang place value niya ay tenths at ang value niya ay 0.2. Ang second digit naman natin from the decimal point ay 3 at yan ay may place value na hundreds na may value na 0 0.03. Fourth digit would be, or I mean third digit would be number 4 which is may place value na thousands at ang value niya ay 0 0.004. At ang fourth digit natin ay 5 na may place value na 10,000 na may value na 0 0.0005. Okay? So, another example or here is another example on how you can give the value and the place value of given decimals. So, for this example, 21.9876. So, again, from the decimal point, yung mga number na nasa kaliwa natin ay ang ating whole numbers at ang mga number na nasa kanan natin ay ating, ang ating decimal numbers. So, kung titingnan natin ang mga place value ng per digit, so, um, ang, ang digit number 2 ay may place value na tens kasi siya ay whole number at ang value niya ay 20. Next, yung number 1 naman ay may place value na 1s, still a whole number, at ang value niya ay 1. Next, yung 9 naman, since nasa kanan na siya ng decimal point, so it's a decimal number already. So, ito ay may place value na 10s, at may value siya na 0 0.9. Next digit would be number 8. So, pangalawa or second digit from the decimal point, ang place value ay hundreds at ang value ay 0 0.08. Okay? Next, number 7, pangatlo or third digit from the decimal point, place value would be thousands at ang value ay 0 0.007. At ang last natin na digit would be 6. So, fourth digit from the decimal point, 10 thousands, ang place value, na may value na 0 0.0006. So, paano ba natin binabasa ang decimal numbers? So, first, of course, yung whole number, binabasa natin siya lagi from left to right. And then, yung decimal point ay binabasa natin ng end. Now, the decimal numbers, we also read it from left to right. At kung ano yung huling number, yun yung place value na ilalagay natin sa dulo. So, for this example, 21.9876. So, the item can be read as 21 
and because of the decimal point, 9,876 at since 6 ang huling digit, 10 thousands. So again, that's 21 and 9,876 10 thousands. Alright, so for, para sa ating learning task 1, give the place value and the, uh, and the, or I mean, give the value and the place value of the underlined digits, uh, write the answer in your notebook. So, sa ating number 1, I have 16 hundreds. So, pang ilang digit from the decimal point ang ang 16 hundreds? So, kita nyo, meron siyang TH. So, ibig sabihin, this is a decimal number at dapat nasa kanan siya ng ating decimal point. So, for this one, ang value ng 16 hundreds ay 0.16 at ang place value ay hundreds. So, number 2 naman, 300 and 9 ten thousands. So, 9 yung naka-underline dito. At makikita nyo na yung um, value or yung place value ay ten thousands. So, may TH. So, from the decimal point, pang ilan ng ten thousands? Pang apat na digit. So, ang value nito ay magiging 0. Point 0.0009. Okay? At, of course, ang ating place value would be 10,000. Alright, so para sa ating learning task 2, give the place value of the underlying digits, write your answer in your notebook. So para sa ating number 1 example, ang may underline na digit ay 4. So this is a decimal number from the decimal point, pang ilang digit siya, pangatlo. So, uh, kung babasahin natin siya from the decimal points, uh, I mean point, it would be tens, tens, hundreds, thousands. So, ang place value ng 4 ay thousands. Tama. Number 2, I have 2.6853. So, from the decimal point, pangalawang digit siya. So, that would be tens, hundreds. So, ang place value ng number 8 na digit ay hundreds. Para naman sa ating le uh, learning task 3, write the place value of the digit 6 in each number. Write your answers in your notebook. So, dito naman magpo-focus tayo sa number 6. So, for the uh, um, number one example, 29.376. So, from the decimal point, pangatlong digit siya uh, sa kanan. So, siya ay nasa tens, hundreds, thousands. Number two, 46.801. So, ang six natin, ay nasa kaliwa ng decimal point. So, ibig sabihin, ito ay whole number. So, ang place value niyan ay ones. Para naman sa ating learning task 4, in 50678.39241, identify the digits indicated below. Write your answer in your notebook. So, number 1, Hundreds place. So, wala siyang TH. Ibig sabihin, siya ay whole number. At ang whole number ay nasa kanan ng decimal point. So, bilang tayo, ones, tens, hundreds. So, ang nasa hundreds place ay number six. Next naman, thousands place. So, may TH siya, ibig sabihin siya ay decimal number. So, hahanapin natin siya sa kanan ng decimal point. So, base tayo. From the decimal point, tens, hundreds, 
thousands. So, ang nasa thousands place ay number 2. Tama. Number 3, tens place. May TH ulit. Ibig sabihin, ito ay decimal number at nasa kanan ng decimal point. So, ang nasa tens place natin ay number 3. Tama. Tama. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you learned something and uh, mas napadali yung mga module nyo. Um, if you have any suggestions on what video I should do next, please don't hesitate to leave a comment. And again, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell para updated kayo sa aking mga bagong videos. Thank you very much. You guys are awesome. God bless. And you have a prosperous 2021. Have a great day ahead. Goodbye.